in one of our recent episodes, we covered designing an extension program. While putting that together, we realized that there were other important aspects to cover that complement the design of an extension program. One of these is developing a theory of change. But that brings us to the question, what is a theory of change and how would we use one? Theory of change has often been used in development contexts since the 1990s. A theory of change is an explanation or a description of the pathway to change. It outlines what the preconditions are to achieve your long-term outcome and makes the steps to achieving change explicit. And this is important because we can see the cause and effects and whether there are gaps. We can identify assumptions and check in to make sure these make sense. Activities can be clearly linked to outcomes and ultimately a theory of change provides the opportunity for review and reflection both from inside and outside a team because the thinking is explicit. So to recap from Clark and Anderson, theories of change link outcomes and activities to explain how and why the desired change is expected to come about. In fact, they're sometimes called a causal model as it's explaining why something will cause something else. A theory of change explains the change. So John, how would we create a theory of change? There are three steps, draft the causal pathways, test the logic and scope, and finally monitor, review and summarize. The first step, draft out the pathways or explanations, starts with defining our outcomes, the results for our program. This is where the theory of change links into Bennett's hierarchy. Is the outcome you're seeking knowledge, attitude, skills, or aspirational change? Is it practice change? And if so, what kind of practice change? Or maybe it's at, it's at the top of Bennett's hierarchy and it's social, economic, environmental or cultural change. Get this clear first, then workshop and start asking what needs to be in place for that to happen to identify the preconditions for the outcome. This uses the team and possibly appropriate stakeholders to help develop the theory of change. Yes, Denise. And the second step is to test the logic and scope. This means we take the theory of change and we reflect and review it with the team and others associated with the program as a means of checking that it truly reflects what the program is trying to do and that there are no gaps. The third and final step is to monitor, review and summarize. This is when we set up the evaluation framework associated with the theory of change, um, something that's actually relatively easy to do once we've completed the theory of change. And if you're like us, then it might be helpful at this point to look at a simple theory of change as an example. This one comes from an organization in New Zealand called Inspiring Communities who offer services that help accelerate change. They have a summary sentence that says, community-led development strengthens social connections so communities thrive. The precondition is strengthening conditions and the outcome is thriving communities. They have a diagram that shows a detailed outline of their theory of change, which is really worth looking at. And we've put a link to that in the show notes. Here's another example from Katoa, a Māori Indigenous research organisation. This theory of change relates to Dress for Success, a not-for-profit who provides work outfits to women to help get them ready to enter paid employment. Their theory of change could sound something like this. If we provide work clothes for those unable to afford them, then these work clothes will help people create a good impression at job interviews. If people create a good impression at job interviews, then they'll be more successful in their search for paid employment. If people are more successful in their search for paid employment, then you can assume they are more likely to get a job, which then leads to better economic outcomes for individuals and families um, and so on. Oh, Denise, that's a great example. So a theory of change is a tool to help us explain how and why a change program works. It highlights why it might make a difference and helps us design appropriate activities and the evaluation. 
At this point, John, we'd like to acknowledge a couple of people who helped us with this topic. Firstly, Cole Freeman, who ran an excellent APEN Roadshow back in 2016 and helped us understand just what a theory of change was all about. Secondly, Jane Whiteman, who after listening to our episode on designing an extension program, emailed and suggested we should follow up with a theory of change episode. And she even sent us a paper to help. So thank you so much to you both. Well, you've heard our thoughts. Now we'd like to hear yours. Add a comment below the blog post and tell us about your experiences using a theory of change, including any tips and further ideas about it. We don't want this just to be a one-way conversation. Join in by sharing your thoughts and ideas with us. Thanks, folks, for joining us on this Enablers of Change episode. Remember to subscribe to our newsletter if you'd like to know when new episodes are available. And if you liked what you've heard, then please tell your friends so they too can join in the conversation. All the best until we meet again. Mm -hmm.